hello guys very welcome to the channel as was promised this is a video where i show you how you can fine tune llama 3.2 vision model on your own custom data set which includes images in this video we are not only going to do it on uh, on a custom data set plus also we are going to do it all local all private and i will also share the link to the command that you can readily run this post is inspired from hugging face philip schmidt who created this data set and he has also some instructions around fine tuning the model but he used uh, coin 2 model whereas we will be using this llama 3.2 vision models i will walk you through step by step in as simple language as possible so that even if you are not from the machine learning background you should be able to follow the instructions and by using your own images own data set you can simply fine tune this model as per your own use case before i go forward let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus so do check them out also they are running this hack to per 2024 where i will be the judge so if you are interested and want to win free gpu credit just send them your llm generated text images or video and you stand a good chance there okay that said and done let's go and try to do the fine tuning and by the way for the purpose of testing i will be using this philips uh, data set but of course you can use any data set of your choice and this is my ubuntu system which is running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy mass compute let me clear the screen now let's install some of uh, first let's create a conda environment it's always good idea to create this virtual environment to keep everything separate from our local system let's wait for it to get installed and activate it that's done next up let's install all the prerequisites for that i'm installing a lot of stuff including torch torch vn and that is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for that to happen shouldn't take too long i believe and while that happens this video is also sponsored by agent ql which is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay so let's go back and check what is happening with our prerequisites let's wait for it to get installed and then we will proceed further all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen next up let's log into the hugging face because this llama 3 version is a uh, vision is a gated model so you would need to go to hugging face login accept their terms and condition and also if you want to push this model back to hugging face you would need a write token which you can grab from your profile from hugging face and that is a free token you don't have to pay anything or do any credit card stuff let me paste my token here just press capital y and login is successful as you can see here let me clear the screen so prerequisites are done let me now launch my jupyter notebook so that we could download the model tinker with our data set in the browser environment and that will make it easier to understand so let's wait for this to get launched in the browser okay so our jupyter notebook is launched now if you just step back and think about what we are exactly trying to do we are trying to fine tune a vision model as per our own use case and our own custom data set when we say vision model it means that we give this a model an image it visualizes that image and gives us a text response back in our case as an example what we are going to do we are going to fine tune this model llama 
3.2 vision model so that it can generate detailed product description based on product images and basic metadata. As a custom data set, we are going to use this Philip Schmidt's data set where you can see we have these images on the very left hand side and then there is some metadata describing the image as what this image is, its prices and all that stuff. So this model will be, uh, you know, you, it could be from any sales website or something like that. So this model is just going to generate a product description based on this image and some of the metadata in the text format which we are going to provide it. So if you have, for example, your own image, for example, you want to fine tune it for any health cases. So you will maybe uh, give this, uh, give the images of some health related stuff and some metadata and then fine tune it accordingly. So this is how uh, you can get your own data, put it in this format and give it a go. And you see, it's a very small data set, just 1300 rows. And I would say <clears throat> if you have a good quality data set, even few hundred images with their metadata should be enough. That's it. Maybe you could get your family photos and we know that we have heaps of heaps of them. Just maybe give it to some um, LLM like uh, GPT-40 vision and all those stuff, ask them to give it a description and that they can create a data set for you. That is called as sort of a, you know, your own data set. If you want to know how to create it, please search my channel. I have done heaps of videos around it where you can use any local tools, Python scripts, or even third party LLMs to create these sort of data sets. Okay. So now we know what sort of data set we are going to use. Let's try to first um, specify our prompt template. Now prompt or what sort of prompt we want as I mentioned in our use case we are going to use that Philips data set and we are going to create <clears throat> uh, a short product description and again um, I have said it before the, this inspiration and most of the stuff is from Philips uh, notebook and I've he has used Quen2 model whereas I will be using Llama 3.2 model. So here I will also drop the link to it so that you can also use it. So again, as per our use case, we have just defined a create a short product description based on provided product name and category and images and only written the description. So this is our prompt and then this is a system message for AI or the model that what sort of role we want this uh, model to perform. Now, <clears throat> this is a simple prompt and data set we need to convert our data set to open AI compatible format for that this is a code looks a bit scary but it's not all we are doing we are importing data set library then we are formatting the data so we are specifying just a typical stuff it's a very standard stuff where we define a system role user role and normally what happens is in the text space one we only give the text but in this one we are also providing the image as per our data set and <clears throat> from there we are also giving it the assistant role where assistant is a model replying to the prompt we are also defining it now below we are giving it um, this Philips data set <clears throat> if you have, have your own data set you can just replace it with it and then just as a simple sample we are printing it out so let me run it here it has loaded the data set, it is creating uh, the split between it and that should be done shortly. There you go. <clears throat> it has also printed that thing out. Okay, so now our data set is sort of ready. Next up, we need to define our model and I will first put the code here and then I will try to explain it in simple words what exactly that code is doing. Now in this code, we are specifying our Llama 3.211 billion vision model. Make sure that at least you have um, 24 to 48 GB VRAM for it. So first we are downloading the model, then we are converting it into QLoRa. So QLoRa stands for quantized low rank adaptation. And this is a method of parameter efficient fine tuning. So what is happening here is that Fine tuning simply means that we take a base model or any, any instruct model and then we further train it onto our 
on data set that is what we are doing right and there are few techniques of it one of the method is called as PEFT or parameter efficient fine tuning where we only fine tune few of the parameters instead of the whole model from scratch one of the technique is called as quantized LoRa in LoRa we don't change the existing uh, weights of the model we just freeze them and then we add few of the adapters on top of it and only fine tune those and if you check here what we are doing here we are simply using QLoRa and using the quantization of 4 bit so that it is going to fit it onto your 24 GB of VRAM easily that is all we are doing and then we are grabbing the model and then we are using the processor processor is quite crucial here because we are using the images and um, if you are training the VLM and for any VLM you would need processor a lot okay so let's wait for it, it is giving me my file system uh, has little bit space so I'm just going to clear up some space quickly and the model is now downloaded make sure that you have plenty of space for this model which is in space you can go to this models card go to files and you will see that how many tensors are there so there are one two three four so around 20 to 25 gig of space you would need for that okay so let's go back to our notebook next up let's prepare the text for um, the inference and we are just going to apply the chat template this is a, just a standard chat template we are applying so let me run it and that is done okay so next up let's define our LoRa configuration or LoRa configuration for that let's simply give this command and now let me try to explain what is happening here so we are using the parameter efficient fine tuning and then for that we are using LoRa configuration so LoRa alpha is a hyperparameter which controls the rank of the low rank approximation used in LoRa and alpha primarily determines the number of learnable weights added to each inner layer of the linear layer of the model and then we are specifying that the LoRa dropout is 0 0.05 it is a dropout rate applied to the LoRa weights dropout is a regularization technique that randomly sets a fraction of weights to zero during training to improve the efficiency and then we are setting the rank to eight rank is again it's a low rank approximation which is used in LoRa and this lower rank reduces the number of parameters but it also impact performance but this value is pretty good I would say um, and R is so R is uh, already good bias we are not specifying any bias bias speci uh, it says that uh, bias is none which indicates that no bias terms will be used here and then we are only targeting qproj and vproj and these are the modules and qproj and vproj refer to query and value projection layers in the attention mechanism and then task type is causal lm that defines the top type of task being fine-tuned and causal lm indicates a causal language modeling task where the model predicts the next token given the code text so let's set it so we have just set our LoRa config here and now let's define the parameters for our trainer so we are going to use supervised fine tuning which primarily uses the label data as we saw in the data set so first up for the supervised fine tuning or training we are specifying where our model should go so we have just specified this my vision llama directory we are saying that let's train it to three epochs uh, let's make it one otherwise uh, it will still take hours i'm telling you but if you're doing it in a real world in production for your own use case go for three epochs at least epoch is primarily the whole pass it makes on your data set in order to fine tune it and then um, we are just setting the batch size per device during training and then gradient accumulation steps are the number of steps before performing a backward update pass and we are enabling the gradient checkpointing to save memory and optimizer here is fused atomw which is quite standard and then we are logging the steps we are specifying learning rate on the basis of qlora and then we are enabling bfloat 16 precision with the tf32 precision and also we are setting the maximum gradient norm based on the qlora and these are all standard values you will find them all uh, in the same place 
so also it is reporting to tensor board that is which is primarily reporting back to the hugging face so let me run it quickly here and now our training parameters are set let's specify the model data set and other stuff and you can see that now i am specifying my model my training data set and all the configuration which we have set here so let me run it and that is done next up all we need to do is to start the training with the trainer and you can ignore these warnings but this is going to take like three to four hours on this gpu and it depends upon your gpu too how long does it take at the moment um, and then it is also going to keep showing you how many steps it is doing the training loss will come keep coming down and you can see that the training is running and i'm not going to wait for all of these hours because it is going to take a bit of a time but these are all the steps and once the training is done all you need to do is to just save it and the model you can either save the model locally just call it any name you like you know my llama or whatever and once that's done you can even push it to hugging face and you would we already have specified our right token and you can specify it here it is going to push it to the hugging face and that is all it is in need to do so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think i hope that this was useful again a huge shout out to philip for the data set and for the inspiration and the instructions for this and really llama 3.2 vision has gone a long way from the predecessors really impressed by these models and as i said if you want to learn more about these llama models please visit my channel and you should be able to uh, find a lot of videos on this recent llama 3.2 model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching